For surfing icon Laird Hamilton, the ability to control his breathing underwater can be a matter of life and death as he tackles some of the biggest waves on Earth. And therefore, XPT's pool training begins with this fundamental concept. Real simple. We are just gonna do inhale, underwater, breath laps, okay? See how quickly you can wear your cardiovascular system out just by breathing. After 15 minutes of breathing work, followed by 10 minutes of ammo box, the XPT participants are ready for the day's greatest test, a brutally tough exercise known as the seahorse. Seahorse is a pike positioned breaststroke. It was meant to really isolate the upper body. A lot of the drills we do are move into certain positions in the body in order to to expose weakness, and so you really have to hold yourself abdominally in this pike, but then still propel yourself with your arms and hold your breath. They're doing this for about 10 minutes, which just with your own body, especially for the men, because their legs are heavier, is very, very difficult. Bring me your toes, bring me your toes, you bring me your toes. Yes. You'll see with fighters and trainers a lot of the time, and Kyle's a great example of somebody who, when he first got in the water, he struggled. He's a big guy. His body is heavy. Swim it, swim it, Kyle. Perfect. Ammo. But really, the number one reason was the pace and the way you move in the water. If you're a fighter or a trainer used to doing everything quickly and willing it and using your strength, well, the water has its own pace. That's what you need to be doing the whole time. Oh, none of this little Gina, just pull boom. forward and come up. Well, Kyle's issues in the water have to do with mass, body mass. Uh, a lot of muscles burn a lot of oxygen, not a lot of oxygen yeah. underwater. Normally, uh, a, a guy like Kyle can implement a lot of uh, aggression to accomplish his goal, and water and aggression, they don't really go together. So once Kyle made that shift into going, oh, wait a second, I'm gonna move through the water, I'm not gonna fight the water, then you could see how much easier it was for him. Two. We're gonna go back to 